Number one. In this question, you will be asked to talk about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. People enjoy reading many different types of books, such as mystery, biography, romance, etc. Of all the different types of books that there are, what type do you most enjoy? Explain why. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number two. In this question, you will be asked to give your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? One of the best ways to learn is by making mistakes. Use specific examples and details to support your opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number three. In this question, you will read a short passage about a campus situation and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. A student has written a letter to the university newspaper. You have 50 seconds to read the letter. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students discussing the letter. Did you see this letter, Jim? Yeah. Be kind of nice to be able to do that, huh? 
No, actually, I don't think it's a good idea.、Uh, why not? Well, like the part about how it'll help students concentrate. I mean, maybe a little snack will help the person who's eating it, but the trouble is, is that it makes it hard for everyone else to concentrate because they have to listen to someone munching on chips or biting into an apple or crinkling paper wrappers. I guess it can be kind of disruptive. Yeah, it would interfere with everyone's concentration. You wouldn't be able to pay attention with all the noises going on. Okay, I guess I have to agree with you on that. But what about her other reason? It would be nice to be able to have some fun at the end of the semester, right? No, there's a problem with that too. Why? Well, I don't think it's appropriate to use class time for that kind of thing. I mean, the last classes are usually pretty important. That's when we do a lot of reviewing for final exams. True. If we use that time for that, we probably wouldn't have time to do as much reviewing, which means we wouldn't be as well prepared for exams. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. The man expresses his opinion about the proposal in the newspaper. Briefly summarize the proposal, then state the man's opinion and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number four. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject, and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Read a passage from a psychology textbook. You have 50 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a psychology class. Okay, so this comes up a lot when people make career decisions. A friend of mine from college always wanted to be a film reviewer. He was a film major and he loved movies. Most of all, he loved to write about movies. So when he graduated. He looked for a job as a film reviewer for a newspaper because, as a film reviewer, he'd get to see films for free and would be paid to write about them. That's what he loved, but 
He couldn't find a job as a film reviewer, so he took a position as a news reporter instead for a newspaper, investigating stories, writing about events, what news reporters do. Now, at first, my friend wasn't sure he'd be any good at this. He'd never been a news reporter before. But eventually, he adjusted and gained confidence, and he got used to the job. And he realized he was actually a pretty good reporter. Anyway, here's the thing. After a few years, the film reviewer for the newspaper where he worked quit, and my friend was offered her job. This was his dream, right? His opportunity to be a film reviewer had finally come, and the new job would actually pay more, too. But did he take the job? Nope. He turned it down. He told me he'd gotten used to being a news reporter, and he just didn't want to try something else. It seemed like too big of a change since, uh, well, there was a chance that the new job might not work out. Using the example from the lecture, explain the comfort zone bias. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number 5. In this question, you will listen to a conversation. You will then be asked to talk about the information in the conversation and to give your opinion about the ideas presented. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Uh, so-so. I've got a problem with my housing for next semester, and I have to make a decision soon. What's going on? Well, I live in a dormitory, and I've had a great roommate for the last two years, but he's moving off campus next semester. Oh, so... So now I have to make a big decision, you know, about my living arrangements. Well, couldn't you just get a new roommate? Doesn't the university automatically assign someone to take his place? Yeah, they do. The thing is, I'm concerned about sharing a room with somebody new. There could be problems. Like, what if he wanted to go to sleep at 10 o'clock? I'm used to studying late at night, and that would throw off my whole study schedule. I guess that's possible. But it is convenient to be on campus, easy to get to class and all. What else could you do? Well, my roommate found a house off campus with some other friends, and there's another bedroom available. I could have it, but I have to let them know by the end of the week. A house sounds like a good idea. It'd be fun to live with a group of people. True, and it would definitely be economical, with everyone splitting the rent. But it's just that this house is really far from campus. I'd have to wake up much earlier to get to class. It'd just be a lot more inconvenient than living in the dorm. Briefly summarize the problem the speakers are discussing, then state which solution you would recommend. Explain the reasons for your recommendation. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please.
Please begin speaking after the beep. Number 6. In this question, you will listen to a short lecture. You will then be asked to summarize important information from the lecture. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to part of a lecture in a marine biology class. A lot of plants and animals live near the surface of the ocean, and that means there's a lot of food near the surface, because there are lots of plants and animals to eat. But if you go down to the deepest parts of the ocean, it's cold and dark, and there's not a lot living down there, so food is very scarce. So organisms that live down at these great depths have developed special adaptations to help them survive in this environment where food is so hard to find. For example, Many deep-sea organisms have body features that enable them to eat prey that are larger than themselves. A good example, um, there's a species of eel that has an enormous mouth and a large stomach that's capable of expanding. And these unusual features allow this eel to eat prey larger than itself. That's a big advantage, because if the eel eats something big, that's a lot of food, a lot of nutrition so the eel can go for quite a while before it has to find food again. Another helpful adaptation in some deep-sea organisms is the ability to generate light. And some organisms use that light to help them capture food. For example, there's a kind of fish called the angler fish, and on its head, this fish has a little structure that produces light, that glows in the dark. This little structure, this little light, is positioned close to the fish's mouth. Other fish are attracted to this light. They think it's something small they can eat. So they swim straight toward it. And that brings them close enough for the anglerfish to capture them and eat them. Using the examples of the eel and the anglerfish, explain two types of adaptations that help animals survive in the deepest parts of the ocean. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.